And we're back on Southeast Texas Weekly. I'm Kevin Steele. We're talking about this Democratic presidential debate after the, uh, we've now had two after the Republican presidential debates. We talked almost the entire time, almost the whole time about uh, the Republicans. So in, in all fairness, we're going to spend a lot of time uh, on this particular show talking about the Democratic presidential debate because it was interesting uh, to me. I found it interesting. I found the, 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 the themes that were put, put forth uh, you know, be very interesting. People, people thought it was going to be a, a, a yawner, and I guess it uh, had what nine million fewer viewers than the the last Republican uh, presidential debate. But uh, I, f I found it interesting. Among the winners, uh, we seem to have a consensus uh, among our Democratic uh, uh, panelists that Hillary Clinton did very well. She did. Did, did she very did. well. Did she regain the trust that she needs to regain, according to the polls, uh, that, that, that speak to this idea that uh, there is a credibility factor for Hillary Secretary Clinton? Secretary Clinton is a very polarizing figure in American politics. Her and her husband have been that way for the better part of two decades. There's always going to be a sizable element in the electorate that is anti-Clinton, period. She's not going to win them over. She couldn't win them over by giving out $100 bills. Did she regain the incremental, you know, margins in the middle? I think a little bit. She's got a long way to go. Guess what? The election is 13 months away. The first primary is not till next year. Eh, she's going to be the nominee. The question is, is she going to be rehabilitated enough in the minds of that 20% of Americans in the middle that are going to decide the election? 40% wouldn't have her on a bet. 40 the other 40% want her. In the middle is where the election is going to be decided. She's got a ways to go, but I think she, she's on her way. And the fact that the, that 40 percent hate her and wouldn't have her on a bet, I don't attach much significance to that. They hate Barack Obama, too. Did she reestablish trust in your, in your view? Uh, I don't think she, she, she spoke to the I. She apologized on the email matter, you know, to give you an example of one of the, the places. I, I, I don't think talked. it's as much trust as it is that the American electorate is just going to kind of forget about it. If all she can do is, is put up a uh, nice face and a good debate posture, uh, that's what they're going to think about. Will the on, on top of the 40 percent, they're going to vote for her no matter what. Well, yeah, while we're on it, what about that, that question of whether the FBI could find anything you know, down the road? Is the FBI, is the, is the Justice Department or the Obama administration looking seriously for? I, I think it's a dog and pony show. I, and I think the worst thing that could have happened was McCarthy coming out and putting his foot in his mouth and, and saying, making a statement like that because I gave everyone the ammo they needed to say, see, look, the Republicans are only doing it to, to politically put themselves ahead of Hillary. She didn't need to regain trust. She still has, she has her base sewn up. Um, my friends and family who would have supported her then, they support her now. And it's unfortunate, but she didn't, she didn't lose anything or gain anything. She stayed exactly where she was, and she's still a front runner. And Why did CNN's Anderson Cooper not ask a direct, qu quest direct question about an issue that has been in the news for, for, you know, for, for weeks, uh, that matter of, uh, of Planned Parenthood funding? The subject came up. At, you know, I think Anderson Cooper, I thought he did a good job. He was very informed. He could rattle off. I didn't know Denmark only had five billion people, but he did. He had his, he, he was together, you know, some of these ninnies on the other networks. He certainly, you know, showed them up. I don't think they steered around the subject of Planned Parenthood. Like Buddy said, it came up. But let me tell you something. Was Hillary Clinton has they, they, they has, not a direct they definitely question. danced around the Hil Hil Hillary Clinton wasn't has a wasn't a focal point. Put it, it's, like it's, that the one, it's the one area that will really expose the Democratic Party for exactly what they are doing in regards to Planned Parenthood. It's promoting infanticide, it's promoting killing babies, and no one wants to be a part of that. Gee, Joe, you forgot to equate it to the Holocaust. The, the closest thing well to the Holocaust, if you look at the numbers are, numerically, the it probably should be. The closest thing to the Holocaust are the trains that Donald well, see, here, here's uh, Trump wants to load a million, 11 million people yeah, well, on. Trump's Planned an idiot, but, you know, in front of the Republicans. <laughs> The Republicans, they start frothing at the mouth. Well, we can't but, be funding but, but killing the, babies. But the, That's but, the problem but, with that. But the Democrats probably have a more sensible approach to it. And so it's not newsworthy in a Democratic debate. I what, guess that's what, why What Anderson, other services besides abortions do Planned Parenthood regularly offer? That you contraception. Can't get you contraception. can get that at your local health clinic. Well, and in many instances, it's, it's, your it's, local it's health clinic is a Just like parent. the name says. The government's funding, the government through the Democratic Party is, is funding infanticide. 
let me tell you something about Hillary Clinton. I don't want to be the foremost defender of her, but when she came out of college, she went and joined an outfit called the Children's Defense Fund with Marion Wright Edelman, who I've met and is a very significant woman. She wasn't doing that because she was running for president. She wasn't running for anything. She was doing it because she believed in it. If you look at her record since she was a college kid, through now, I don't want to go into when she was a Goldwater girl before that, but she's been you politically lift active. And she's done sign? good work, not when right. it benefited <laughs> her, when it benefited children, when it benefited women, when it benefited people. Period. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't, don't appoint me as her defender. I don't doubt that she's a servant. I wish we could roll some Hillary Clinton but she can't help that she's theme a music Socialist for Democrat, you. But yeah, exactly. I, I feel we, bad about it, but she's being Hillary. Just like, you know, the McCarthy <laughs> thing, they called it a Kinsley gap. Michael Kinsley. Yeah. Uh, coined the term which means you accidentally told the truth I gotta that's run, what I gotta that's run. what he, that's what McCarthy did he said what it was and man, she's going to clean up when she goes before that committee next week she's serious bounce men them. with serious ideas we appreciate you very what much we're back make? in just a moment stay with us <laughs> well it's driving that narrative is driving the news